really dizzy and my head hurts. Sounds like you might be a bit dehydrated. Dehydrated? What's that? Well, dehydration has to do with the cells in your body. When your body doesn't have enough water to function, your cells shrink due to osmotic pressure. Osmotic pressure? Osmotic pressure is the minimum amount of pressure that needs to be applied to a surface to prevent the inward flow of water across its semi-permeable membrane. When there's not enough osmotic pressure, a cell undergoes osmosis, and water travels from an area of more water or a less concentrated solution to an area of less water or a more concentrated solution. Here, let me show you. A raw egg can represent a cell in the body once its outer shell is removed. The outer shell of an egg is made of calcium carbonate, which can be dissolved by a strong acid like vinegar. After about 36 hours of soaking the egg in vinegar, the shell of the egg is dissolved, exposing the semi-permeable membrane of the egg to the surroundings. A semi-permeable membrane allows some molecules to pass through it while others cannot. In this state, osmotic pressure across the semi-permeable membrane of the egg is balanced, which means there is no net movement of fluid through the membrane. Soaking the shellless egg in corn syrup causes it to shrink. Corn syrup is mostly sugar. It has a lower concentration of water than the egg. Therefore, in order to reach equilibrium, osmosis causes the water to move out of the egg across the semi-permeable membrane and into the corn syrup until both solutions have the same concentration of water and a balanced osmotic pressure. Initially, corn syrup is very viscous due to the low concentration of water and is therefore difficult to extract using a pipette. After the egg has soaked in the corn syrup for roughly 12 hours, you can see that the water has indeed moved from inside the egg across the membrane into the corn syrup. Now, with the higher concentration of water in the corn syrup, the solution is now much less viscous and easier to extract using a pipette. Now, if these dehydrated eggs are placed in water and left overnight, you can see the process of osmosis as the water moves from high concentration in the beaker across the membrane to low concentration inside the egg to once again restore the balanced osmotic pressure. Now, for comparison, a dehydrated egg is placed in water with red food coloring and a hydrated egg is placed in a beaker with corn syrup to display both directions of osmosis. Once again, on the left we can see the water leaving the egg and entering the corn syrup to restore the osmotic pressure, and on the right we can see the water moving across the membrane into the dehydrated egg. The purpose of using the red food coloring is to visually see the semi-permeability of the membrane. This egg has now absorbed a large amount of water, increasing the pressure inside of it. With an increased pressure, the egg feels tense, like a fully expanded water balloon, and is bouncy when dropped on a hard surface. Here, we can see the comparison between the hydrated egg and the dehydrated egg. If we poke the hydrated egg with a needle, clear water comes shooting out like it would in a water balloon. This is because the egg is no longer submerged in water, therefore poking the egg with a needle would release the built-up pressure, causing water to shoot out. The semi-permeability of the membrane can be seen here since only the surface of the egg is red and the water inside is not, showing that the food dye molecules were too large to pass through the membrane. Oh wow, so my cells are like those eggs, they shrink and expand? Yes, exactly. Um, the eggs represent your red blood cells. If you don't stay hydrated, the water will leave them and they will shrink and die. So make sure to drink a lot of water, but make sure you're not drinking anything like ocean water because then the water will also leave your cells and they will shrink. At the same time, you shouldn't drink too much water because then your body will have too low limits of sodium and other important electrolytes. Your cells could also potentially burst. It's very important to drink the correct amount of water based on your age and weight. The process of osmotic pressure and osmosis can also be seen in water purification. Water purification? What's that? Well, when unfiltered water is passed through a membrane, the clean water will leave and the unwanted particles will stay behind so it's safe to drink. That's so cool. Thanks, Dr. Demar. Make sure to stay hydrated.